Welcome back, YouTube. It's your boy Nunez, aka Vintage Pokemon Hunter, and we're back here with another video. Today's video is a little differently. So I was going through storage upstairs in my old bedroom. I f currently have the entire downstairs now of my mother's house. Shout out to my mother Lucy, love you forever. So now that I have the entire downstairs, I'm still moving items from upstairs down. And I actually just stumbled across my sports cards collection from when I was a kid. So man, did I wish I, I still collected Pokemon back then, but we got went into Pokemon, then into Yu-Gi-Oh! Then I went pretty heavy into sports cards. For some reason, I don't know where any of my Pokemon or sports cards are, but I guess I still have all of my sports cards. Yeah, but my Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon are just completely gone. I don't know where either of them are from when I was a kid. I have some just like random commons from when I was a kid from Pokemon, but the rest, I'm not sure if my mom just gave them away or they're just somewhere put away. They're not in my room, trust me, I looked. So I wanted to go, if anybody is into sports cards, if you have any idea if any of these are like super rare, if I should grade them, any suggestions on that, I'd really appreciate it. I'm also going to make sure I post this on Instagram. Hopefully someone on Instagram can help me out. And if I have anything good, I really don't know. This is something, again, I was into heavily when I was a kid. I was into like jersey cards and rookie cards. So I know a lot of these are rookie cards and jersey cards at the same time, which is pretty cool. So we're going to go down here. I'm just going to flip through pretty quick. If anyone has, again, any idea of the value on these, if I should grade any of them, please reach out to me either on here or on Instagram would be easier. Again, at Vintage Pokemon Hunter if you're not following me on Instagram yet. So let's see what we got here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the tripod. And I'm going to show off every card real quick. So again, I believe most of these cards are from 2004, 2005. So we have here, that's Eli Manning. That is a rookie jersey card. Dion Branch, a Super Bowl MVP. I know everyone remembers that, that Super Bowl with freaking Tom Brady. Got a Larry Fitzgerald. I don't know if that's a rookie card. You know, Larry Fitz has been in the league a long time. We have another Larry Fitzgerald jersey card. Here is Anquan Bolden, another legend. We have uh, Dirk Nowitzki, jersey card. We have here Ladanian Tomlinson, jersey card. A Ray Lewis, a Brett Favre here. Then we go here, Ike Hilliard. That's how you know I'm a Giants fan. Absolute classic. Moel D. Moore. We got Ricky Henderson, one of the best Base Steelers of all time. Another Ricky Henderson jersey here. Kerry Colbert. Antro Roll. Julius Jones. Clinton Portis. Ben Watson. Then we got from here, I guess, 1995. This is a jersey, I'm assuming, a rookie card. We have Jeff Bagwell. Terrio Smith. Carry on Fox. Gilbert Arenas. What a legend. Luke McCown. Who else do we have here? What can I see? Dante Culpepper. Wow, I remember him. Then we have here Heinz Ward. Dontrell Moore. B, what, BJ Simmons rookie card signed, I'm assuming. It's just a lot of different eras of cards here, but I'm assuming most of these are from 1990. No, sorry, 1993. I'm assuming they're from 2003. Drew Bledsoe. Right before Tom Brady came in. Joey Harrington. Delonte West, <laughs> wishing him the best now. For most people know, you've seen him on Twitter, not looking too good. Barry Larkin, and we have up here, Antoine Walker, Kenyon Martin, what a legendary New Jersey net. So yeah, um, you know, we're getting into like the older baseball cards and all these different autographs. I'm assuming some of these got to be worth something. I got most of these cards, like a lot of these older cards, like the Mark McGuire, absolutely ruined by the steroid era. A lot of these cards I did get from my Uncle Louie, who was super heavy into sports cards at the same time as well. So I, I bought this whole, like all these baseball and all this older stuff, most of the football stuff was all mine. And then all the rest of this stuff I got in this binder from my Uncle Louie back in the, I remember I spent like probably 100 or 200 bucks on this binder back then and I, I thought that was a great deal. Like, imagine I was buying Pokemon then. This is, like, the end of Watsy era, pretty much, 2003, 2004, the beginning of, like, the Nintendo era. So, yeah, I really don't know much about any of these cards. I'd really appreciate it if anybody does. Got some Reggie Bush rookie cards, Vince Young, AJ Hawk, Santonio San Holmes. Yeah, I'd really appreciate it if anybody could reach out. 
and uh, give me a little insight on what to do. Got all these Eli Manning rookie cards. I know for a fact these are all rookies because I remember this <laughs> this page right here. I definitely remember as a kid. Definitely remember being so happy to finally get some Eli's. These are definitely all rookie cards. Plaxico Burris, another giant legend. The Phil Rivers. I'm pretty sure that's a rookie card as well. So remember this whole year, my uncle was going crazy this year with the, of the rookies, 2004. So yeah, um, again, on Instagram would definitely be the easiest way to hit me up about something like this. I'd really appreciate that if anybody can give me some insight on what to do. I'm just back. I figured I'd make this a YouTube video. Why not? Just finding my old collection. I thought it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool to look through. I was looking through it before I made this video. I'm like, wow. Like, some of these cards I really remember. Like that Eli, that whole page of Eli Manning rookie cards, I remember getting those. A lot of these cards I don't remember. These are just cards I accumulated over the years when I collected when I was younger. I guess a lot of them I got from my boy Dave Jackson or from my stepbrother Pauly. We all traded them and collected them. And then amongst my Uncle Louie and his son Brandon, pretty much the whole group of us was heavily into it back then. Just something that right after, again, right after Pokemon, right after Yu-Gi-Oh! went into sports cards. And then after here, pretty much stopped until about 2013. But I just, again, I gotta pull this video up. My friend Jason tagged me in a video yesterday on Facebook from 2013 of me buying Pokemon cards. I have to rip that video and make it, and I'm gonna probably post it on Instagram, honestly. Just like a throwback post, it's so cool to see. But yeah, I really do appreciate you guys checking out this content every day. If you're enjoying it, make sure again to follow me on Instagram, at Vintage Pokemon Hunter. And if you're enjoying these videos here, make sure to throw the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. I post here and on Instagram every single day. And I really do appreciate you guys, whoever's sticking around, who enjoys this content every single day. And happy hunting, trainers.